You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. Super excited to check out another one of my older toys. This one is from 2008. It is the Star Wars Creepy Crawlers. As you can see, it looks like R2-D2. You've got some stormtroopers there. It comes with the oven which is the r2d2 like i said a spatula four bottles of goop and looks like three molds plus other assorted toys let's turn it around here but this looks like the three molds that you get the box is all pretty cool as star wars branded here let's see i think this shows the year yes this shows the year although you can't read it that way it is somewhere right there 2008 now let's see here is the actual back of the box and this gives you all the specifications you get one star wars character oven can't wait to check that out a cooling tray two detailing pens plus four goops one pick and then the three molds i guess that gives you a better look at them stop one uh, step one stop one step one drop some goop into the mold step two slide in your mold and close the oven Pop out your character and then expand your collection. Make a ton and have some fun. Okay, it requires one 60-watt small base candelabra bulb, which I do have in my light bulb collection. Yes, you have to have a light bulb collection, especially for all the different ovens that I've shown you with light bulbs. So I am going to do a little camera angle change here and then take this out and we'll check out all of the pieces. Okay, I'm not sure how this is in the box just yet. Here we go. I'm assuming now that the goop is still good, so we will see. That is the oven. Hot, do not touch. And we'll have to get into that and check out for the bulb there. Here is my instructions. Okay, they show you right here. So I'll have to get a screwdriver, take off the back, and then, of course, get the light bulb. A couple packs here. Okay, that looks like all of my supplies. All right, let's see. Let's just open these up here. All right, here is pack number one. Well, it looks like the tape goes all the way through. Hmm. Very interesting packing there. So maybe I just got to kind of wiggle it out. There is my spatula. Yeah, I wonder how they did this. Okay, there is some goop. I hope it's good. I really do. It looks like I'm going to have to take some of this tape off here to officially get into this. It loops around. Okay, I think I will need to, which I normally don't do on these, but I have to cut some of the cardboard to flip this out. Wow, I normally don't struggle with that. Look at that. Okay, nicely put in there. There's our, our two of them. R R. There's R R. And then, let's see, I'm probably going to end up with the same problem here. Okay, our tray. Now, I'm not sure. I haven't used... I've done like four or five Creepy Crawler videos, so it has been a while. Okay, so two more. Goops and detail pen. And then another set of trays. Uh, one set, sorry, there was three all together. Wow, this is like an old school unboxing for me. It's been a while. Sometimes I just come back with everything open. All right. Packaging destroyed. Pretty cool. It says 2008 Lucasfilms Limited. All right. So now we have those three. And they are metal. All right. And then the oven. And then let's get these out. We will have to see if our goop is good. It looks good, maybe a little soft, so I might have to shake it up, a little runny. It still looks like it's gonna goop out. We will give it a shot. Now you can still buy goop. There's someone that makes it the same smell, same everything that we all remember. 
detail pen. And then here are the last few pieces. Okay. They give it a little caps. Let's just see. It looks to be okay. We'll see if it's gonna work. There's the four colors. So it looks like white, like this reddish color, a greenish color, and then a bluish color. And here's the cool little lightsaber pick. Look at that. It says Star Wars, and there you see the lightsaber on it. All right, that is it. Now, I will review some instructions here, get the bulb. We'll move on, learn more about how this thing works, and eventually, of course, make all of these. I will be right back. Okay, I am back. I did want to report to you that my goop uh, looks to be pretty good. Now, I had to open them all up and give them a mix. I will show you why. Now look at that, that has kind of like separated a little bit. So I've been taking a paper clip, sticking it in my jar, and just kind of mixing it like I'd be mixing paint. And I've got it, I think, pretty good to where you hear it shake. I don't know if you can hear that in there. And then I've been mixing it really good because I think that's important. Now I noticed my detail tips, the detail pens, are nowhere near where they need to be. So I'll have to work on those a little bit. And then I just keep doing that, that, and that, and that, and that. So I'll have to come back. I'll finish that one off camera for you. But right now, let's get the bulb in so you can see underneath the actual toy and where the bulb goes. I am going to have to come back one more time because I do need to get those ready before I start. Okay, they want the four screws. Let's do that. And last but not least, okay, so now we can see inside. I think that one's out, it's just not. Okay, so there's this metal plate here. here let me put my finger over that screw. This is kind of where the bulb is sitting, and that's what's gonna reflect and heat everything up. So you just put the bulb in. That's a good shot of the inside. Okay, there you go. And they do say be careful because of all the metal parts in there. And then this just goes back on, so it's going to kind of go over the bulb. And then put the screws back in. So I will do that, now that you've seen inside. And then mix a little bit more of all of my goops, just so that they're as mixed and nice as possible. And then I will actually start. So when you see me next, I will be making and filling my molds. Okay, everything is set. The bulb is ready. Now, it will not turn on unless this is actually flipped up and put back down. But let's take a quick look at the top of this because you have a nice cool R2-D2. Now, I don't know if anything lights up here. It kind of looks like maybe it does through the top. Maybe that's the letting know that it's heated up or not because it will not open until it's totally cooled down. It's got one of those little sensor doors on it. There's a little line right there doing something. And this is your on off switch it will not go all the way on and then not much more to it you've seen the bottom so that is set now i have my goops ready i have been working on them even more shaking and shaking now i have opened i forgot which one the blue one to see on the tips because these specialty tips go on the ends of these bottles but you have to cut them pretty far down so that they press and lock on. So now I have a skinny tip for the blue if I want to make some adjustments there. You know what I do need is a paper towel. Okay, so I thought I would do a Yoda first. Before I do all three, I'm going to do this one and put it in the oven just to make sure everything is working. Now, I thought, even though he doesn't have a white lightsaber, I thought, let me try this little pen. I'm not sure. Oh, see here, look. That's going to make a mess. It's okay, I have protection down. This is a mat down here. Let me get these out of the way. Let's just focus on this one. Let me get the camera in here. Nice and close. How's that? Better? Let's get these out of the way. I thought, hopefully, the white and the green will make a different color lightsaber. What they want you to do is to fill in the little channels for your detail. Now, both my Detailing pens are white. I was hoping there'd be a black in there so I can get a different color variation. OK, 
Okay, and then his eyes. Okay, there's one eye. It's hard to see where his other eye is. He's kind of squinting, I think. I'm going to put it right here because it looks close. Okay, and then let's just add a little color here so we can experiment a little. This is all about experimenting. Now, the tips need to be cut, so I was using a sharp blade to do that. And then you will see how big the tip is once you cut it. So you put on those little specialty tips. Hopefully it doesn't pop out. That's my fear now is that they pop out. Let's do his ear section and see if we can do this in the pink. I know this is not his coloring. I'm just curious to see how this all pans out. Okay, I think the rest I'm just going to do in the goopy green. And then this one I'm going to cut, but I'm not going to put the specialty tip on because I want a bunch to come out and to fill the section here. Then they basically say just fill the rest. lightsaber they did say don't overfill Ooh, looks like I could have used a little bit more mixing I mean I spent quite a bit of time okay I'd say we're pretty good with that last squirt all right let me move some stuff out of the way. Let's get this first one in the oven. Now it's said to bake this for, I want to say six to nine minutes. Where's my steps? Oh, okay. Allow mold okay to stay in the oven for approximately seven to nine minutes. After this time, slide the on off switch to the off position. Okay. It will not open until it's completely cooled. So let me get this set up. We'll slide this one in. Okay, here we go. I will take my Star Wars spatula, which also kind of resembles a lightsaber with two blades, I guess. And then it looks like it slides on this way. Now they say one hand holds this open, the other hand slides it in. Okay, really nice. Locks. On. I'm gonna set my timer now. I don't think I'll be able to look inside, but let's set this for nine minutes And then I'll check it when it's done. All right a little blurry cameras having a hard time determining what the focus on But now you can see the green inside there. So I'm just gonna let it record and maybe speed it up Not sure if it'll make it to the actual video, but let's see what happens Okay, the arrow is at the top of the temperature gauge, which means we are good to go. So, let's see how it came out. Now remember, they call this the cooling tray, so you can put that in there, even though it's been sitting long enough to cool. Now let me just touch it. Okay, so it's definitely got some mushiness to it, but not completely where it feels like it's going to come out so easy. I have a feeling here for some reason that... It might take a little bit, hence why I have my little lightsaber to try to pull this out. I do want to make the other ones for you, so once I get this out, we can look at it, see how the detail, if any, worked. I might just work my way around trying to pull it from the edge. Are you as curious as I am? Okay. I feel like it wants to lift, but it's gonna take a little bit more effort. Almost like 
a better tool like I want one of my other tools to slide completely underneath but we'll just take your time don't rush that's the biggest thing with any project is once you start rushing you're so excited to get to the okay maybe that'll help if I just kind of do that it's not the best tool it's very flexible so I'm not getting a lot of good pressure okay gone around the whole perimeter let's see if this slides underneath there we go Ooh, there we go watch the lightsaber oh I know you all want to look at it so do I Ooh, check it out that actually came out good he's got red ears oh this was his eye down here that's his eyebrow so now his eyes are messed up but his lightsaber came out white I know it's not technically white it's, isn't it green doesn't he use green uh, but I think it looks pretty cool all right so that is number one maybe if I show it to you on this and zoom in you'll get a really good look at it all right now we know everything works I will come back decorate the other two on camera and then bake them off camera and then we'll see what they all look like so I'll be back okay two more to go so I have the clone Captain Rex and then I have Anakin Skywalker so I'm gonna hold Anakin for last let's get this one cooking here and then of course you know my Yoda came out interestingly it worked so we know everything is working so I'm gonna do a bunch of blue accents in here it's hard to tell I mean you really can spend a lot of time working on these and getting them just the way you want them and then I think I'll just do a little accents here and there okay and then why not why not put some of the red in and then I'll have to take the tip off of the white I'm gonna do this little antenna isn't that the antenna in pink okay and then the rest in a nice white I do need to cut the tip off just a little bit more on this to get more of this out I'm guessing I'm only guessing that this white is not the best it's gonna get lumpy but we'll see Okay, off to the oven. There's some lumps, see that? This looks like it's gonna merge everywhere. I wonder if you just bake the first section, wait, come back, and then put the other layer on top, if that would be the best way to do this. Okay, there we go. So I won't show you going into the oven. Well, here, I'll put it in. You kind of remember it, but it's here. It's ready to go. This hand, this hand, two hands. Okay, make sure it's back. And then turn it on. Okay, I'll be back when that one's done. Okay, let's get this one out of the oven and then I'll do the Anakin. Let's see how it looks. I'll put this one on the cooling tray. Ooh, the white. Look at that, it turned to a nice golden brown. All right, so let's decorate this next one here. Now his lightsaber isn't that isn't his lightsaber blue? I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I can get this whole ring on this outside edge in white. Is it possible? I think it is. I'm squeezing pretty hard to get this out. Okay. And then just a little bit out here up to the lightsaber okay now I want to fill the lightsaber in with blue okay and then let me just add some other colors I'll use most of the colors just to see how they look now that tip is gonna be way too big 
All right, let's see. Let's give him some green. Let's give him a green head. feel like it's blocking up and then I don't know let's just do these little details I almost just want to bake this first and then see if I can bake over this mm. should I try it that way I don't know if it'll stick maybe just a little bit I want to do the rest Okay, I don't know. I'll have to do the rest in white. I can't, but I got that ring. Hmm, how about this? How about I just do the rest in this pink since most of it is pink? That looks like it's staying pretty good. All right, I gotta take the tip off, it's getting clogged. All right, into the oven this goes. When this one comes out, then I will take them both from the molds and we'll take a look at them and then I'll wrap it all up with you. We'll see how this turns out. Here we go. Last one. Okay, it's in. Locked on. I will be back when it's all done. All right, here we go. It is cool. Now I'm gonna let it sit a little bit longer because the top feels hot. Ooh, look at the color of that one. Here, let me take this off the cooling tray. And then here we go. Now I'll take these two out. Exciting, huh? We'll just leave R2 here. It'd be nice if R2 stood up in some way. Wouldn't that be cool? All right, here we go. Well, let me, I turned it up because see R2, but here we go. I will try to let you see what's going on here the best I can. I'm not going to worry as much about pulling this out because I think once it pulled, it was pretty easy. I was just being maybe too cautious before. Oh, that peeling sound. Here, I'm going to try to peel it right by the microphone. Here we go. Did you hear that? I'll peel the next one by the microphone. All right, very cool. All right, so here we go. That one is there. That one is there. Let's see. Ooh, this one is still a little hot. I'll tell you what, I think I need to let this one cool a little bit more. I will have to come back to this one. I think. Let's see. Maybe I can get it. I got it. It's a little warmer than the other ones. Ooh. That's why I could not lift that up. So sorry, you did not hear that any better, but that came out pretty good. All right, so let's check out all three. So you tell me what you think is your favorite. Let me try to get a close-up of all three here. I'll zoom this in the best I can, bring them in. All right, that worked out pretty good. My goop, after so many years, was still usable. I had to mix it, like I said. It is the Star Wars Creepy Crawler set. Does, do you feel the force? All right, so number one, Yoda. Number two, this is the Clone Captain Rex. And number three is Anakin Skywalker. I might have to do something with the video here and give you an even closer shot because now that it's in focus. All right, so if you want to see more Creepy Crawlers, I will have a link in the description area to a playlist with all of the other Creepy Crawler sets do I have. Do I have any more Creepy Crawler sets? I have some available, I just have not shown them to you. So maybe I will get to them, I'm not sure. Let me know what you think. And thanks for watching the video, I do really appreciate it. Later! If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave! What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh yeah, please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a Lucky Penny, Pick it up!